guys welcome back to my channel it's taisha so today's video i wanted to test out a bunch of new makeup i have some drugstore some high-end just a bunch of stuff that has been released you guys already know the makeup world never sleeps so yeah that's what today's video is gonna be all about let's zoom the camera in and let's get to testing out new makeup so i asked you guys on my instagram page which eyeshadow palette should i use for today's video and a lot of you guys voted for this palette right here these are the brand new ellie girl palettes i believe they're 15 dollars and i love ellie girl so i'm sure i'm gonna like this palette so a lot of you guys picked the pink one this is what it looks like it has a big mirror it also comes with the names like on a little tape but i threw that away so yeah and then this is the other palette that they have so I wanted to use this one because I was like, I need to stop being so basic and, you know, use more brighter shades. But you guys know me because you guys picked this one. So this is the one we're going to be using for today's video. I'm going to start by priming my eyes. I'm taking the Anastasia primer. I'm just going to apply one little dot on each eye. You don't need a lot of product when it comes to this primer. I'm just gonna grab this shade. There is a little bit of fallout and I'm just gonna apply that here on the crease area. You've seen my Alamad Cosmetics blending brush. These brushes are so good, you guys. I got them on my BoxyCharm back when I had a BoxyCharm. I don't know if you guys have noticed, I do not do any more BoxyCharm unboxings. Because honestly, you guys, I was just getting so much makeup I wasn't using. This is a really pretty caramel brown color. I like it. It reminds me of something Anastasia palettes would have, but you do have to apply quite a lot to get some pigments out of it. And there is some fallout, but not too much. Let's see you guys. I might use some of the shimmers. Let me go ahead and swatch them. They look super creamy and shimmery. Ooh, that's pretty. There is this color, there is this really pretty like pink color, there's this one. These are very creamy and super buttery. Like, wow. Let me swatch them. Look at that. You guys see how pigmented that is? They're so pretty, but I really cannot decide what I want to do. I might as well just do like a plummy eye. So let me grab this color here. It's like a soft pink color. And I'm going to pack it on the inner corner. Yeah, these are not the most pigmented eyeshadows ever at the drugstore, but they're okay so far. It's blending out great. They're pretty creamy, but they're not the most like pigmented palettes you'll ever use, as you guys can see. So now, I'm just going to go ahead and apply this one here on the lid area and see what happens. Hmm. These are not that pigmented. I don't know if you guys can see they're doing like something like weird on my eye. Let me move on to this darker color here. So you guys see how I'm grabbing it? I'm gonna tap X's and I'm gonna pack it in. You see I'm just packing it in and I did use the Anastasia primer which that primer actually helps eyeshadow look way more pigmented I'm gonna remove this and let's get this eyeshadow started again because this is no this is not good so I'm gonna go ahead and do the same thing I'm gonna start with this really pretty caramel brown color and I'm just going to grab a fluffy brush and apply it on the crease area. So far, this color is beautiful. They are blending out great, or at least this color is. I think where I messed up is trying to put those darker colors on the lid area. But usually when I do that with other palettes, there's no problem at all. But that's okay. Let's see if it works now for a second like chance. I think I'm going to go in with this color here which is like a mauvey pink color tap excess there is a lot of fallout to them and i'm gonna apply it here on the outer crease of my eye 
I really like the packaging though. This is like a really pretty girly pink color. Kind of reminds me of like Kylie Cosmetics. See, so far those are blending out great. So much better than the first try I did the palette. I'm gonna grab this darker color again. It could be that these shadows need to layer on. And I'm gonna apply it here. This is still not super like pigmented, but it's way better. So if you're trying to use this palette as like smoky plum eye, I don't think that's gonna work out for you with this mask, but on the crease, they're perfect. So then I think I wanna do like a smoky, sexy look. That's the look I was trying to go for. So I think I might go in, it's so hard because these shimmers are actually really good. They are a little bit powdery, but nothing too crazy. So I might just go in with this copper shade. And apply it here on the lid area. And this brush, it's from Sigma. Um, I'm not sure of the number. Oh, it's right here. E50, I think. And then I'm going to mix it with this color here. I didn't want to do like a cut crease or anything because I want this to be like super like sexy, not trying too hard. And usually that's how you get those looks. So now I'm just going to apply this one on this side. See so much better. And this is without wetting my brush. Let's see what happens if we wet our brush with just a little bit of setting spray. Wow, that is so pretty. So I'm just gonna go ahead and line my eyes and create a little wink liner. I'm gonna be taking this Vocalore Super Fine Liquid Liner. And this is in the shade of black. When I line my eyes, I always make sure I go like this so I can see my eye better. Just a little tip for you guys. Okay, yeah, this liner is not that good, you guys. I'm just gonna go with my Physicians Formula eyeliner. Now, this one's really good, but I found that this happens. I don't know if you guys can see it. The liner's like a little bit messed up because I guess the tip messes it up. So you just have to be super careful. I don't get those little like parts that are lower the brush. I don't know if I make any sense. The meal. But yeah. You just have to be careful with this liner. But it's super pigmented. Um, so I'm just going to go ahead and apply some mascara. I'm going to be taking this lashes from this brand. I've been loving them. They're the Opulent Collection in the shade. In the shade. Oh my god. In the number 827. So I'm going to go ahead and apply these lashes. And they're right here. Because I've been using them so much. They're so good. And they just give you that wispy, beautiful eyes that I love. Especially with simple looks like this. Trust me, it all comes together at the end of the day. You just have to trust the process of makeup. So when it looks ugly, just keep doing your makeup. Apply your lashes, your nude lip combo, and you're going to look like a bad bitch. So lashes are on, you guys. Never underestimate the power of lashes. You see how much like better this look is already looking. I love this really soft pink, pretty eyes. In my opinion, I really like them. So I'm going to move on, you guys, to the face. So I have a new primer to test out. It's from Hard Candy. This is the Sheer and by Hydrating um, Primer. And this is supposed to be a 12-hour makeup grip, plumps, moisturized, and perfects. This is kind of low-key reminding me of the Milk you know the grip primer so we will see how this one feels on the face i'm gonna go ahead and just prime one side because we are going to be doing a little foundation work as well so i'm just gonna use this here on this side of my face it does feel like the milk one too let me see if it gets tacky. The more you let it sit into your skin, the more tacky it gets, just like the Milk one. So this is only $6 in case you guys are interested on the price. And the Milk one's $30. I do not know if they're dupes, but 
it does feel like it could be so i'll definitely keep trying that out hard candy is just killing it lately so then for foundation i picked this one up from bobby brown this is the skin longwear fluid powder foundation this is supposed to be a powder foundation a powder to liquid foundation which i have never tried before and it does have spf 20 and i picked it up in the shade honey so that's the shade right there i do have to say you guys the shade range was not good at all they have like 30 shades i think but it's like a lot of light to medium and then not enough deep and then even the medium shade range isn't that good because i'm in the color honey and i'm not even tan so say apply an evenly 15 minutes before sun exposure you apply at least every two hours okay sure use a water resistant sunscreen if swimming you know what i don't think it's gonna be a foundation just wait for this this is gonna be a tinted moisturizer huh let me apply this super liquidy i believe the coverage is light let me see i'm trying to like figure out where i'm applying it this is 40 dollars. imagine applying this every two hours you might as well just apply sunscreen but i guess if you want the coverage it makes sense talk about light coverage you guys i like the color though i feel like it matches me maybe it says the coverage is a light to medium oh wow it does feel really like matte already let me apply a little bit more or a lot more because i still need coverage on the cheek it didn't even cover the redness I have. Oh shit, you guys. I forgot I put a little dot in my forehead and now it's like set. I am 100% returning this foundation. This is just something, it's not for me. Like, it's just not for me. I don't know if you guys can see. This is why I don't use light coverage foundations. Because it attaches to... My pores like I don't know if you guys can see look I'm gonna zoom myself in look at my cheek area do you guys see how it doesn't want to stick to it I do not know why it does that this looks horrible like you can see my dark spots here foundation here and you guys saw I added an even layer of foundation so uh, so I'm just gonna go ahead and just use my foundations i just did a whole video talking about my favorite go-to oily skin foundations so if you guys haven't watched that video please make sure you guys go and watch it i'll have it linked below so i'm going to be taking a combination of the maybelline foundation this is the 24 hour wear in the color 220 and then of course my heart candy and what if you guys told me how to say this i've been saying it wrong this whole time you guys it's glamouflage like you know camouflage but instead of camouflage is glam right i don't know it makes sense though glamouflage yeah right glamouflage i think so and this whole entire time i've been saying glamouflage you guys i do not know why you guys are watching me right now let's move on to some concealer you guys i bought my first path mcgrath labs makeup i'm so excited i hear only but good things about her stuff so i finally decided just to try one thing her stuff is super expensive at least for me personally um so we'll see you know so this is supposed to be a weightless full coverage high performance it's runway tested mother approved and this is in the color l m14 amazing packaging let's start out by saying that i'm gonna apply three little dots here the applicator feels nice some applicators you guys will poke your eye like they really will and i'm gonna blend it out it feels really lightweight and i already can tell you i like the color i'm kind of picky when it comes to my concealer color and this is like that perfect olive but light medium not too light color that's something i do notice about high-end makeup you do get that really nice color and i think this is full coverage do you guys see the difference no concealer concealer i never apply foundation underneath my concealer that's just gonna make it look 
not cute okay i'm low-key impressed you guys like it feels so nice so lightweight i'm gonna move on to applying my setting powder so this is from an indie brand it's called give me glow cosmetics they release a bunch of new i think it's highlighters and setting powders so i picked up of course the loose setting powders and this is in the color sugar cookie that's the packaging a really cute packaging i'm so excited it's supposed to be a super blurring um nice quality setting powder and i'm just gonna grab my damp beauty sponge grabbing about that much applying it on the back of my hand because i don't really like that much powder i'm gonna set it oh wow this is super brightening did i buy the wrong color We will see this gift splash bag because I feel like it is. I feel like I bought the wrong shade because look how bad that looks. Like it looks so light on my skin tone. These are some thick powders. Like I feel like they're more thicker than Huda Beauty. So let me grab my pressed powder and I'm just gonna go ahead and press it on my face. I feel like this is gonna give me such bad flashback. The color is just way too light for my skin tone. I'm going to be taking my Alamar Cosmetics Bronze and Brighten and Bronze Duo. I definitely do not need the Brighten part because, you know. So this is what it looks like. These are $25 and you get three shades. You get two for like bronzing up your skin and one for brightening. And you also get a mirror and the names. So I'm going to be taking Sortera, which like I told you guys before, this palette, it's like me in a little palette. And I'm going to go ahead and bronze up the skin. I've been loving these bronzers ever since I got them. They're creamy. They do not emphasize any texture. They don't stick to any texture I have. You know, they're just super smoothing on the skin. And it, this is like that perfect bronzy shade. If you want something like cooler tone, these are not for you. But personally me, I love colors like this. It's like super like beachy friendly. Like if you're going to the beach or if you went to the beach. I will also show you guys how this looks like of natural lighting in case my lighting that I have right now is playing me. So I'm going to be taking some new blush. This is from KKW. It's the blush palette. I love this palette already, you guys. They come in numbers. I don't know if this one's one or if this one's one. But I'm going to be taking this cooler pink and then this coral color. Tap X's and apply it on the cheeks. Since I do have a lot of texture showing, because I'm using a non-blurring primer, um, I do want to stick to my matte products and matte blushes. I'm like pretending like I don't use matte products all the time, but this is a little tip for you. If you struggle with like a lot of pores and stuff, try sticking to matte. So we are almost done with our makeup, you guys. I do not know what to do about this under eye. It is super like, boom, in your face bright. So I'm just gonna go ahead and take what I did to the top to the bottom. So I'm gonna take this color here and blend it out on the lower lash line. Make sure you guys tap excess when you're applying any shadow to the lower lash line, if not, all that excess powder is going to go right into your eye and it's going to hurt. I'm going to go ahead and apply this color here on the inner corner. Yeah, that's perfect. I actually like this look, you guys. It's cute. What do you guys think of this palette? Would you guys buy it? Or is it just too like average for you? I really like the shimmers. I cannot do anything about this brightening like situation. Hopefully it's not too crazy. But you guys, I ordered some new Kylie Cosmetics lipsticks. I've been collecting Kylie Cosmetics since 2016. It's one of my favorite brands to collect. I do not know why, you guys. They're just cute, you know? So I got two new products in. I have her lipstick set in Girls Trip. So it comes with a lipstick and then it comes with a lip liner. And I also have the Coco by Kylie Cosmetics. And this is in the color Handbag Home. So I think I'm going to go with the liquid lipstick one. Because actually, I don't know. 
Yeah, I think I want to do the liquid lipstick. So that's the color. I feel like on Kylie it looks more nude and on me it looks like more on the pink side. And then that's the lip liner. You see the lip liner is bomb. And they have that scent. I don't really like her lip, um, I don't like her lipstick scents. But I do like her liquid lipstick scents. So that's Girls Trip. And then this is Handbag Ho. So I think I'm going to go with this one. And yeah. And then I'm going to go with the liquid lipstick. I feel like they all kind of pull more of that pink side on my skin tone. Maybe because they're a lighter skin tone. It shows more like nude. But right, this is more peachy. So let me apply some lip gloss. I have this one, you guys, from Artist Couture. This is in the color Uncensored 2. I finally bought it. It's been sold out for a while. And it's like the prettiest nude color. Let's see what happens. There you go. See, that's more me. So, you guys, I almost forgot to apply setting spray. So, I have the Morphe Mattifying Continuous Setting Spray. I'm so excited to test this out because you guys know I really love the original one. But that one doesn't do anything for my oily skin. But it's amazing when you're wearing too much powder. So, let me go ahead and see. Oh, hopefully it's the same. Let me see. I think it's the same. And it also... You guys, why would they change the scent? It smells like kind of like chemically in a way. I don't like the scent, but you guys know I'm all like super picky when it comes to scent. So I don't know if I'm just exaggerating or if it really smells bad. I feel like it smells like plastic. I don't know. So I'm just going to go ahead and set half of my face. Let me see. I'm scared to spray it. I hate the scent. I feel like something is shooting more. Like you see, look, you guys see that? It's not the same packaging. Like it's just spraying like straight at your face. I don't know if you guys can see that. I don't think so because it's like super hard to show you guys. Oh, I guess that's what you guys are talking about. Why does it do that? I don't know. You guys can see that the white marks here. But we're still going to go ahead and continue. I will be doing a wear test like I told you guys. And I will also be taking a flash picture as well. I'll show you guys how it looks on natural lighting. Just in case, you know, you guys can't really see how it looks like. So, yeah, guys. I'm going to go ahead and go throughout my day. I don't know how to feel about my makeup. I feel like it just looks way too, like, dramatic. And it's coming from me. I'm just saying. So, I'm going to go ahead and go throughout my day. And I'll be back in a couple of hours. All right, guys, so I wanted to show you guys how it looks on natural lighting. I'm filming with my iPhone, um, and this is what everything looks like. I feel like I look super, like, dramatic makeup today, and I personally love that, but I don't know. When it comes to my face, I feel like it's looking a little bit too heavy, but that's what everything looks like up close. I feel like it looks pretty and everything. I really like the eyes. The eyeshadow is really pretty, and this lashes. I'm loving them. And then when it comes to this lip combo, I feel like it's not that nude as they make it seem like online. But this is a good thing about testing out lip combos for you guys. So I can show you guys how it looks in our skin tone, you know. But yeah, that is the makeup, you guys. Let me know what you're thinking. And I will see you guys in a couple of hours. All right, guys. So it has been five to eight hours, I believe. No, it has not been eight hours. It has been like five hours. I'm lying. It is currently 7.50 p.m. And this is what my makeup looks like, you guys. It definitely looks expired when it comes to the under eye area. I do not know why. My makeup never does this. Like, it just doesn't do this. And I know for a fact it's not the foundation combo because I did it before and it worked amazing so it has to be you guys this give me glow powder i would not recommend this powder at all it is heavy you cannot blend it out i don't even know how this can be a baking powder because this just sticks to your face and you cannot move it so i would not recommend that i also do not recommend you guys try this morphe setting spray i feel like it's not that good i mean can you guys see the difference do I look more matte on this side or do I look the same? Let me know. But I do not like the scent. I feel like I have 
smell this scent before, but I do not know where. It smells like plastic and like cucumber-ish. Where have I, I have smelled this before, but I don't know where, but I do not like that. I also do not like the actual like packaging, like the sprayer. It's not the same as the other one. This one, like it is sprays right directly to you, only like the top and the bottom. I don't know, it's weird. Maybe I got a bad one, but the formula, I do not see the difference right now. I'll keep using it though. This lip gloss, it's gonna become my new favorite. This is the Uncensored 2. It's really good and super creamy. I also really, really like the concealer that I have no idea where it's at, but you guys, such an amazing concealer. I know for a fact this concealer, it's not doing that weird cakey thing because it's not matte. It's a really pretty like velvet, natural looking yet full coverage concealer. It is so beautiful. I'm super excited to keep testing it out and I will be using the products tomorrow again so I can see how it looks like with other products I already like, you know, like the concealer with a setting powder I already like. Last but not least, the eyeshadow palette. I really like the packaging. I feel like LA Girl is stepping up their game, but I do not feel like the matte shadows are really pigmented and like the best drugstore eyeshadows ever. Now, I do feel like the shimmers are super pretty and super creamy. Um, I just feel like the mattes are not that pigmented and you have to work with the palette, you know? But if you don't mind that, you're looking for something more everyday-ish, you know, you don't really care about that much pigmentation, then you are gonna like this palette. I'm still gonna keep using it because I really like the shimmers and I really like this look I created. I feel like it's a really pretty, like, go-to glam. You know when you don't know what to do and i almost forgot to mention the hard candy primer i am really interested in this primer to keep using it it's not blurring at all but i do feel like it made my makeup last longer because this side looks great and it only has the primer so really like that so far it is not blurring it's just a gripping primer just like the milk one so if you're gonna use this just make sure you use a blurring primer if you have pores and stuff but i am excited to keep using this because i feel like we might have found another dupe for the milk one but you guys all that being said thank you so much for watching i feel like today was not a good makeup day it was like okay i feel like a lot of products let me down but that's okay i'm here to save you guys some money so give this video a thumbs up also comment below if you guys have tried any of these products and let me know your experience you know with them and yeah that's it you guys thank you so much for watching and hanging out with me and i'll see you guys on the next one bye guys